Is COVID-19 going to magically disappear, Dr. Fauci? Uh, I do not believe it would disappear because it's such a highly transmissible virus. It is unlikely that it's going to disappear. Does wearing a mask give people COVID-19? Does wearing a mask give it? No. Okay. Not, not to my knowledge. All right. Is COVID-19 a hoax? No. Um, should people take hydroxychloroquine as a cure for COVID-19? The uh, overwhelming cumulative evidence of properly conducted randomized controlled trials indicate no therapeutic efficacy for hydroxychloroquine. Can, can people cure themselves of COVID-19 by injecting themselves with disinfectant uh, no. or bleach? I'm no. sorry? No. Um, are you safe from the disease if you go to one of the aforementioned large assemblies, crowds, demonstrations, uh, without a mask on and not observing social distancing, if you sign a waiver that you won't sue the sponsor of the event? I'm, I'm not so sure those things are connected, but I'll repeat what I've said multiple times, that being in a crowd, particularly without a mask, is a risk for acquisition and transmission. Okay, so, but signing a waiver doesn't confer any kind of immunity on you from, from being uh, infected by the disease? No, of course okay. not. All right. Um, Dr. Fauci, um, the European governments are in a completely different place. They've got the disease on the run. In fact, the Asian countries have the disease on the run. Uh, I saw some remarkable figures. Uh, almost every other country on earth is doing far, far better than the United States, except for Brazil, whose president has followed President Trump's policies. But we have 153,000 dead. Canada, our next door neighbor, has uh, less than 9,000. Uh, we have 17 times the number of, of, uh, of deaths from it. China, uh, which of course is much larger than the United States, has lost 4,661 people. We've lost 153,000 people. We, our rate of death is 36 times higher than China, and on and on. Do we have the financial resources and the scientific expertise in America to do what other governments have done to bring the infection rate down to something manageable so the end is in sight of this nightmare? I believe we do have the tools, and certainly there's been a considerable degree of financial investment. So what is the difference why are all of the other countries defeating the disease and we're not? Why do we not have a plan, a strategy for victory to win, to beat COVID-19? Well, I believe I addressed that in not only my opening statement, but also in response to the question of one of the congressmen. And that is that when you look at the comparison between Asia and Europe, as is shown by the chairman's poster up there, that when they shut down, they shut down to the tune of about 95%, getting their baseline down to tens or hundreds of cases per day. So which is when we did it, we got it down, but unfortunately our baseline was 20,000 a day. All right, so we're getting somewhere, but would you agree with me that the critical difference is either the presence or the absence of social cohesion and political leadership to actually develop a plan, execute it, and stick to it? I think there was such a diversity of response in this country from different states that we really did not have a unified bringing everything down.